Now, if you look at this table here, we've got various salespeople here, and this is the total number of individual sales made. So as you can see, this person here and this person here had 20 sales, so they were top sellers in terms of the number of sales, whereas this person here only had three individual sales, so they would be last. If you look at the total value of sales, however, it's slightly different. So in this case, this person here has sold $8,000 worth, so they would be like the top seller in terms of value. Whereas here, this one has only sold $1,000 worth, so that would be the bottom one. So what I want to do is to click here, and first of all, I want to display the ranking in terms of the number of sales made. And then once we've done that, in the next column, we'll do a, a ranking by the value of sales made. So if I click here, we need to use a statistical function. So if we go to more functions, we'd expect to be able to go to statistical and find rank down here. But if we scroll down, you'll probably find it's not there. So we've got some similar things, but we want rank, not these other ones. So what we have to do in this case is say, OK, let's click on insert function and we'll search for the word rank. And sure enough, there it is. So sometimes you'll find that not everything you need is actually listed here or in a submenu. Sometimes you have to search for it. And rank is a case like that. So there's the rank function. As you can see, this function is available for compatibility with earlier versions. It's not sort of displayed as such. You have to go and uh, search for it, as we've just done. Anyway, I'll click on OK. So where it says number, if I just simply click here, that'll insert C4. So that specifies the number. Then in the next item here, ref, we have to specify uh, exactly what we want. So within here, I will go and specify the range. Now, in the order section, if we don't specify anything or enter zero, the rank will be sorted in descending order. If we want to sort in ascending order, then we would uh, basically enter any number apart from zero. So in this case, we'll just leave it as it is and click on OK. So we've got a nine. And why is that? Because this basically means that in terms of the number of individual sales, this person is ninth. The only person worse than that is here. Now, if I drag down so we can look at uh, everyone else, you can see in first place with 20 sales, we've got these two, so they're in first place. In 10th uh, place here, with the lowest selling, we've got this person here. So what it's done is it, it's ranked them. And notice we've got two in first place, so we don't have a second place here. So we've got two in fir first place, then the next one's in third place, then fourth place, and so on and so forth. What we can do is now click here and, and do a sort of similar sort of thing, but in this case, instead of ranking by the number of sales, we're going to rank by the value of the sales. So again, I'll go to insert, search for rank, it's not already there, go to the rank function. So here's the rank function again. In this case, I'm going to click on this cell here, D4, so that's specifying the number. And within the ref section, I'll just simply enter the range. So we're looking at um, $D, $4, colon, uh, $D, $13. So we're looking down here. If I click on the OK button and just drag this down here. So we're ranking by the total uh, value of sales. Now, if we look at the values here, the top one obviously is that one, which is here. The bottom one here, where they've only sold $1,000, that's in 10th place. 